In our top story this morning, thousands of mine workers are marching to banks to protest bank account closure by the four major banks in the country. The mining communities are out in large numbers and raise their concerns about their future if the banks do not open the company's bank accounts. The locations where the protest marches are taking place are Hartebius Fontaine in the northwest province, Klerkstorp, Delmas, Hendrina and Middleburg. The mining communities say that the banks cannot let the ordinary workers of the mine and their families suffer because of their own political agendas. Shiva mine has one of their mines here which is called the uh, Brackfontaine mine and that mine must have employs just over 400 people but uh, the demands are very clear here one is that we are converging here as community members and as the workers of that mine for amongst other reasons one because on on the end of this month when the last bank is to is to shut down the accounts of Shiva we are obviously going to have over 400 people unemployed. But over and above, we are going to have their families and extended families who are unemployed. But also, you have community members who are benefiting, small SMMEs who are benefiting in that mine. Our request is very simple, and our demands to the bank is that we will be giving you a period of seven days so that if you are not considering the plight of these workers and the plight of these communities, we are not the Kuptas. It should not be a scene that the people who are working there are working for the Kuptas. The Kuptas, in any case, they have indicated that they are selling any, anyway. So what is the whole agenda? Why could the banks at least must chaba, wait for the transfer process uh, to happen? So where we are sitting, we are saying the banks should consider that they must ensure that the jobs of the workers are not lost. Um, if this company is sold, they must at least consider workers because the problem is that while they are busy with change of ownership, workers will have to stay without pay for almost 12 months. We have a problem with unemployment and they are adding to it. Our problem is people losing their jobs because of this conflict with APSA. That is our problem and we are saying let that not affect workers. This decision to close the mine will only affect employees. It's going to be a problem, sister, because it's almost Christmas, it's festive season. We have families to support, we have kids to buy Christmas clothes, and everyone is worried because most of us we are breadwinners. I'm very much sad because I'm a breadwinner at home and I'm raising my two kids alone. So it's really got into me. I'm not okay at home. So what we ask is that. Can they at least give that, that process for, for the other companies to buy the company to, to be sealed first and then they close their banks? It's fine. We don't care about the Guptas and their stories. What we care about is that we save our jobs so they can just at least bear with, with us and make sure that we don't lose our jobs over this and just give us a chance so that they, they seal their, their deal to sell the mine. We have our reporter Cindy Siwe Twala joining us live from Middleburg, as well as our reporter Lemu Khang Fuke live from Clickstop. Good morning to you, ladies. Cindy Siwe, let me just start with you. Just paint us a picture of uh, what's taking place regarding the strike action taking place this morning. A very good morning to you as well as the viewers. As you've correctly cited, we're in a mi one of the mining towns. Most, of, more specifically, we're in a Middleburg, Steve Schreiter local municipality. But more specifically now, we're at Owar Tambo Street at the heart or the CBD of Middleburg, where there's a number of protesters who've come out. There's also community leaders and community members, as well as a taxi association, coming out in numbers to assist the optimum mine workers to protest against the closure of the bank. 
banks. We know that uh, four banks in the country did decide not to uh, continue doing business with Oak Bay businesses. And now Bank of Baroda, an international bank, has also come onto the bandwagon on this particular issue. But also to, to, ex to actually speak about the issues of this particular area and why the Taxi Association and other organizations are joining in, I have with me Ubab Chapter on my side to explain to us in Vanak exactly his concerns as to why the Taxi Association is a deputy chair have joined in in this particular protest. Unjan Baba ene inki ngaya banta bane ngabezile lena bazotoli kaka kahle kahle yini baba. Mama ngibingale la kakhulu cha after mtu ni deputy chairperson wa MTTA Metilburg and District Taxi Association. I concern yetu mama ukuthi ama banks akafuni ukufuna ukuvala i i business lab on optimum and optimum i i catch 7500 yabantu. Should be 7,500 times five. Should you only almost 40,000 yaban? Like I said, my team, I'm seven hundred. We transport a yaban to now. My city, whatever differences are now, you, my compromise in seven. Like South Africa is facing unemployment, and the labor bank to labor is 7,500. I'm about to catch it. I'm trying to have. 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 And then Yabona Futi organization in Kipa Band to Kipa Matei, Sutin, that is a Glentolen, Bona Matimas and Katu Delegan Amosa would to go by name Pumel and Emish. Yakavana was is over corner in Pumel Emish, the Roman was seen a girl a high court, the Octata Connected is seen. So Bona Connected was a tenant support on Parat. So Kipa Okama takes to Swalet Lavantu, Paso Glen, Paso Casa, Amazizo, Paso Ganjan. Thank you so much. That was Ubab Jafta, a deputy chairperson of the Taxi Association in the area. He's basically citing that uh, Optimum Mine employs over 7,500 people. That times five is a large, significant number, over 40,000 people in this particular area. We know that the demographic or the population of this area is over 68,000 people. So if 40,000 are left destitute because of unemployment, that will be a concern. He also cited that the reason that the Taxi Association has come onto the bandwagon is to support them because they too will be affected by the unemployment as they deal particularly with passengers and transporting of family members of these particular workers. But I also have with me another person, Unjan Butwus. My name is Vosis Kosana coming from uh, MPCF, Little Pet Business Community Forum, slash un and unemployment. So we are here to talk about the issue of the bank. The bank must assist us because our brothers and sisters they are going to go angry without food. So we are asking for bank to release the money of that uh, company. And we are not supporting anyone. If people they think we are supporting Gupta, that is none of our, our pro problem. Gupta is, is working on their own problem. So meanwhile, while we are waiting the transfer of this man, because the man has, has been, we've been told that the mine has been sold to somebody else. Meanwhile, while they are busy doing those transfer, we need the bank to release the money for our people. And what we are saying exactly, yeah, what we are saying exactly, the uh, bank mandate is not bigger than our 7,000 people that are going to lose their job. Thank you so much. Moving on for the sake of time to Dion on my other side. Uh, please tell us where you're from and why exactly you've also joined in this particular protest. Okay, thanks, ma'am. My name is Dion Sebego from Clusa Unemployment Structure as a, a president. And then why exactly has your initiative, since you're saying is an unemployment structure, come onto this bandwagon to support 7,500 people who could possibly see themselves not getting salaries? Yes, actually, this uh, optimum, it's our fellow brothers. That's why we are here to support them, because uh, if they demolish or they stop, shut down this optimum, then we're going to have a crisis to say our community now is going to start to struggling again. As I speak now, we've got more than 4,000 people unemployed and even we've got 2,000 people uneducated. But, uh, optimum is willing to do that to assist the community. But if the banks if assist us to open this account, then the community, everything is going to be fine. Because we've got the one crisis from uh, Henrina at the community from Henrina, they've got uh, sanitation water. They don't they, they supply the water from uh, Optimum to Henrina. So if they shut down the banks, if they shut down that uh, a credit, no matter, uh, no matter that money, 
they will not get the water from the community for two years. So that's why we are here to campaign to say, please, we are plea and set to charge, uh, be with us, and we understand what the crisis, but now we are not even support the Gupta or whatever who says, but our fellow brothers is there. We need, they must open that mine and must in retrench because the crisis that we have in our government, the problem is the retrenchment. We've got a lot of retrenchment people and a lot of people unemployed. Thank you so much. That was another person, basically, Dion, also citing why the employment structure of Mshuzi, which is the township of the area, has also come onto the bandwagon. But I'm going to take a quick walk with my cameraman just to show you how many people have come out in numbers. We're seeing people with different placards. This particular one written, Judge Fabrica, Protect Our Children's Education. Also other uh, placards on the side, on the corner, they're saying, we care about our jobs, not the Guptas. Others, Judge Fabrica, save our jobs and so forth. So a lot of people have come out in numbers to protest, to actually request that the banks open the bank accounts. But I'm also going to go around one more time with my cameraman who's going to quickly follow me. There's a lot of people with protesting cars all around and others not even visible today. Others not visible on the frame as we're going around. We can safely say that there are over 3,000 people coming out here to protest against the closure of the banks. They're also saying that that if their requests are not heard, they're going to take this up at the High Court on Wednesday or on Thursday. It's still to be decided. Back to you in studio. Well, thank you so much. That was our reporter, Cindy Sue Twala, who is coming to us live from Middleburg, where she can confirm approximately 3,000 people have gathered from the mining community there in Middleburg, both miners as well as business people that actually run their businesses in Middleburg, protesting against the bank's closure of the bank accounts of Oak Bay-related businesses.